Yesterday, I was scrolling on Instagram, right, and I saw this reel. It was Mr. Beast on a podcast. And I was just thinking, fuck, this guy probably has some deep trauma. In this reel, he says he works every single fucking day, every second of the day. He wakes up, obsesses, and goes to sleep. Even on Christmas, even on his fucking birthday, he does not give a fuck, right? And he would take one day break only after he got a fucking mental breakdown. Do you know how much work that takes? It's fucking mad, right? And this is what is very interesting. He had the same exact mindset as Mike Tyson, right? Mike Tyson, Mr. Beast, how the fuck is there any correlation? And them two, the greatest in the fucking field, right? One's the greatest boxer of all time, and one is the most popular YouTuber in the fucking world. And both of these people have one trait in common, and it's fucking dark. You know, when he was putting the work in on his birthday, on his PC, on Christmas, he was getting happiness, but not happiness from food, the cake. He was getting happiness from beating other men. He thought to himself, how can I get above my competition? They're not going to work on their birthdays. They're not going to work on Christmas. So if I work on those days, I'm going to be fucking above them. And Mike Tyson did the same exact thing at 4am every single day. He would get the fuck up and he would go for a run in a freezing dark cold but why would he do that it wasn't for stamina it wasn't for cardio it's to know that his competition they're still in bed they're still warm while he's sprinting in the dark now in his mind he's already above them so of course when he goes to fight them he's gonna fucking knock him out right you've seen this clip right mike tyson he's fucking walking to the ring he's nervous he's nervous he gets into the ring and he's a whole different fucking man he looks at his opponent. Have you seen how he looks at his opponent? I can tell what his fucking thoughts are. He's thinking every single fucking day. I've beat you so many times in my head already. I got the fuck up when you didn't get the fuck up. And the interesting thing is, even if his competition, they got the fuck up at 4am, did the same exact thing. Mike Tyson's gonna win anyway. Power of belief is fucking strong. Right. But another common theme with these two, they never slack off. Do you think Mike Tyson, yeah? He just finished his sparring. Right. Do you think he goes home and he gets on Fortnite Battle Royale? These guys are fucking machines. You want to be great. You want to make money. You want to make 10,000 a month. You want that one car. You want that one watch. Are you really going to get to that doing two hours of deep work a day? No, you're fucking not. You see Sam Ovens, 65 million by 26. The longest he worked without sleep was five whole fucking days. Two hours of deep work. You're retarded. See inside of you, you have desires like Mr. Beast and Mike Tyson. You want to compete. You want to be above people. And this game shows it, right? You remember Agario? This game was fucking amazing, right? As a kid, I used to watch this guy called Master of, right? If you remember Master of, you're a real one. This was the guy that always played like Sliver.io and Agario. And in this game, and in Sliver.io, these little games, they were so addictive, right? We loved it so fucking much. And a common theme of all these games, Become the biggest possible. Destroy everyone. Right? And becoming the biggest possible comes by destroying everyone. Comes by eating the other Agario people. Comes by devouring other snakes. You see, right now, you've got a fucking advantage. You see all this, like, propaganda of deep work. I used to believe that as well. I used to work, like, two hours a day. You know, like, the hustle culture and shit. Seen as so bad right now, right? But I'm waking up. First thing I do is work. Second thing I do is work. Third thing I do is sleep. And in between that work, I take a rest. What is the rest? Is it video games? What do you think it is? It's going to the fucking gym. Right. Most man can't even do that as a starter. Imagine my fucking success compared to yours, doing two hours of deep work a day. Then playing video games. Then going to the gym. Yeah, I'm so fucking productive. You're not productive, you're fucking gay, right? It's simple law of physics. I know little retards in the comments, right? They're gonna be typing, oh, this is so bad for you and shit, right? I know I could fuck you up in a fight, right? That's the first thing. Second thing, you're disagreeing with the common laws of physics, with eternal laws of the universe. That's what you're disagreeing with right now. The more force, the more acceleration. The more work put in, the more you get out. It's fucking simple, right? And as long as you're on a diet, which is no carbohydrates, your brain is so fucking clear. Your brain's not going to get tired. I don't get tired, my brain don't get tired. Right? I can put as much work in as fucking possible. I don't get tired. There's no afternoon naps. There's no insulin spikes. This is how you get success. No successful guy will tell you you got success by doing two hours of deep work a day. That's not fucking true, right? 
your role models, Andrew Tate, you heard he works all fucking day. Every single guy you look up to, at their starting point, they were working 12 hour days, non fucking stop. They were obsessed. Mr. Beast level obsessed, right? Is that guy? That fascinates me, bro. That really fascinates me, right? I have much more respect for him now. I know he makes like dopamine videos, retarded shit. I have much more respect for him now. Because he's a hard worker. He's a fucking hard worker. And you see videos like this. There's always a moral of the story. And it's always five seconds long. This is what I want you to learn, right? Let's say this is your day, right? This is... This is work, right? This is... Games. Right, this is your wake up, right? If you have games in your day... Attention plus desire. That's going to be your attention and your desire. See, you're going to be focused on the things you can do afterwards. Now, I remember in primary school, I used to have a Wii, right? Because I was too broke to get an Xbox or a PS4. There was this one game called Inazuma 11, right? Every single day, I would stare at the clock. I would stare that shit down, right? I was trying to make that shit move with the force of my eyes. And once it got to like 2.30pm, I'm just like fucking smiling to myself. Smiling that I can finally fucking get on. This game which was amazing. And I finally got through this task of school. It's the same exact situation. Right. Because success, it's not doing the motivating work. It's doing the boring, dreadful shit. Right. So you're going to be thinking, all oh, games, I'm going to get on my game after this. That's where your attention is going to be. So you're way more likely to cut this short. You keep cutting it off every single day. You're making some progress, then you cut it off. Some progress, you cut it off. You're limiting yourself. A tree, right, a tree. It grows and grows and grows until it dies. Right. You're living like this. You're a tree. Just cut yourself off. So right now, if I called you a waste of potential, you would have to agree. Because we just established you're a waste of potential. You cut yourself off. Why? And that genuinely makes me feel bad for you. Because you're so hooked onto this. You're so hooked onto these video games, this entertainment. You can't get rid of it. They are specially designed to keep your potential low. You don't need to grind, right? You can go play fucking Genshin Impact, you faggots. You're so fucking delusional. I just want you to know, if you want to become great, and stop being a waste of fucking space. You need to cut out all fun shit in your life. You've got around £50 in your bank account right now. You've got £50 in your bank account. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. The only reason you're comfortable with that is because you have traditional fun in your life. You have video games, you have entertainment, right? So you need to get rid of that shit. That's the only reason that you're here. The one habit that's holding you back is one of these two, right? It's either content consumption or video games. And I see some man in my Discord server playing video games. I'm just thinking, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I know some guys, right? They are game developers. But 99% of people that are on those games, they are not fucking game devs. They're just playing because they don't want their mind to be alone. Because they know if they're alone, their mind's going to go against them. So they need to put it onto something else, some external force. An external force where you're making fake progress. Because your mind always wants progress. And you can get that in real life. Or video games. So you need to do this right now. Right, shit, let me get my pen. You see this day? Work, right? Nothing there. Preferably, fill this shit up with work. Fill this shit up with work. Now, yeah, where's your attention meant to go? There's no video games. So it's just gonna stay in work. All your attention into work. And once you put enough work in, 10k a month, right? You're gonna get there so much fucking quicker than the guy who's doing two hours of deep work a day, like a little pussy, right? So the one thing I want you to do after this video, you can't skip this, right? You think I'm not talking to you, right? But I'm looking you in the eyes right now. Look at me, bro. Look at me in the eyes. Say you're a pussy, right? Get on your knees. Get a journal. Write down all the bad habits you do. Write down all the fun things you do. If they bring you no benefit, get rid of them. And right now, if you find it hard to quit video games and all shit like that, you gotta subscribe, bro. Because every day at 5pm, every single day, I'm going to be uploading. 
uploading shit like this. Join the busy center, that's the Discord. I'm pretty active in there actually. You got my work playlist, shit like that. The data set center, I've got three full guides, right? Three massive guides. And the silent network, which is crazy, right? Silent network testimonials. All these people, bro. 12 pounds a month, 39p a day. Get in there right now. Take care, bro. I'll see you tomorrow.